Okay, so game one just ended of the NBA Finals, the Phoenix Suns versus the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Suns end up taking it 118 to 105. And coming into this game, we were unsure of how Giannis would be coming back from injury. Would he even play? But let me tell you, he did play and he played quite well, you know, especially coming back from injury. But today it was all Chris Paul in the Phoenix Suns. But before we get on to the recap, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on the bell for more daily post coverage NBA Finals. Uh, coverage so you know you don't want to miss another video so with all that being said let's get right into the video man this was an entertaining game to say the least let's talk about Giannis he had 20 points 4 assists 17 rebounds uh, of, again coming back from a hyper extended knee for him to put up these numbers uh, it was very impressive obviously he had that LeBron like chase down block which again after giving props that was very nice and the one thing I saw from Giannis he wasn't settling yes they lost but uh, he wasn't doing jump shots that much he only shot two or three pointers and he made one so 50% but you know Giannis was trying and you know at least he was you know doing something for the team and not you know being uh, coming back from injury and not trying so Let's talk about the first star of the game. So the Suns were targeting Brook Lopez. Uh, they were switching on to him and they were abusing him defensively. DeAndre Ayton played amazing tonight. Man, I sound like a broken record. I say this every single playoff game that we covered in these NBA playoffs. Man, it seems like he's a walking double-double. This game he had 22 points, 19 rebounds, going 8 for 10 from the field. DeAndre Ayton is going to be one of the best big men in you know one of the in the upcoming years. Just mark my words, this season is his come up year, man. You know, so, so proud of this dude, especially for you know he's so efficient, he's dominant in the paint, and he plays simple basketball. That's what people are feeling to understand. He's not doing crazy moves. He's rolling through the paint. He's cutting through the paint. He's crashing the rebounds hard, and he's finishing with ease. And that's what I like. He's a simple center, doesn't need too many moves in his bag, and he just sticks to what he knows best. Now let's talk about Chris Paul. He absolutely explodes this game and goes off for 32 points, 4 rebounds, going 4 for 7 from the 3-point land, and 12 for 19 from the field. Man, it's, you know, honestly crazy to see Chris Paul in the finals. I still can't believe it, but, you know, going on about DeAndre Ayton and Chris Paul, their chemistry and this pick and roll is absolutely unstoppable the Bucks had no answer for this pick and roll the connection is really something special and over these playoffs the Paul Ayton uh you know pick and roll duo is absolutely amazing in the first half they were switching and when they used to switch Chris Paul wouldn't hit DeAndre Ayton he would go himself do his little crab dribble crab dribble and after that he would go up and shoot the mid-range pull up and it would go in 90% of the time and then coming to the third quarter, uh, you know, they went back to switching, playing drop coverage, and that would lead to an easy Chris Paul floater, or if, you know, Brook Lopez would come up too high, that's an easy alley-oop lob to DeAndre Aiden. So, again, very hard to see, very hard to defend for the Bucks, and, you know, they scored a lot of points off of that, but the third quarter is where the true separation was created in this game and that's where Chris Paul absolutely won off I believe he had like 16 or 18 points in the third quarter alone and uh, in the third quarter it was all Suns yes Chris Middleton did hit a couple of threes here and there as let's talk about Middleton quickly he had 29 points seven rebounds five for 12 from the three-point land 12 for 26 from the field he played well tonight but again it just wasn't enough as he had no help but man obviously after the third quarter uh, in the third, a lot of people were going off. It wasn't just Chris Paul, you know, it was Devin Booker hitting those mid ranges, Cam Johnson, timely shots, uh, Cameron Payne again, 10 points, uh, Mikhail Bridges, 14 points, going two for four from the three point land. Um, you know, Jay Crowder, only one point and uh, 0 for five from the three point land, but it feels like he did so much more in the defensive end. Uh, he's not a stat sheet person. You got to look at what he actually does on the floor. His hustle, uh, you know, his rebounding, nine rebounds, that actually helped a lot. And even though he shot 0 for 5 and 0 for 8 from the field, that doesn't really matter because he's playing his role and at least he's shooting shots. But on the fourth, it was a bit better on the Bucks side as they were down like 18 coming into the fourth. And the Bucks were able to, you know, even come down to a 10 point lead. But. This is how the Bucks actually lost this game. It was free throw shooting. 
The Suns are struggling to keep, you know, CP3 and Booker off the three-point lane in the first half and honestly the whole game. The Suns set a record for free throws made, I think, shooting 25 for 26, and the Bucks only shot 9 for 16. I believe the Suns are shooting perfect from the free throw line all the way up until like the fourth quarter, Mike, with maybe a minute left, and I believe, I don't know who missed, but somebody missed to end the perfect streak, but man, game two is going to be in Phoenix as well, and that's going to be an absolute thriller. Uh, Chris Paul, man, like his mid-range pull up, his step back threes, uh, so good, man. So good. Cam Johnson, another beautiful night. He's been playing so well. Uh, let me look at Cam Johnson. What he had 10 points, 2 for 4 from the three point land. His cutting is absolutely amazing. Uh, his basketball IQ, he had a couple of strips from Giannis. So his defense, obviously, very, very helpful. Dr. Sarge did get injured. He only played two minutes, so hopefully he is fine. But uh, Devin Booker, we didn't even talk about him. He shot horrible from the three-point land. We have to be honest. One for eight from the three-point land is not good. But he had 27 points, eight for 21 from the field. So Devin Booker with his made ranges, man. He killed them absolutely, absolutely. Played really well tonight. Um, you know, this whole Suns team was running as a unit, especially in the third. That's where the true separation was created. Let's talk about the Bucks now, man. Let's talk about the Bucks. Uh, Drew Holiday, I didn't see much from him. I'm gonna be honest. We need to see more out of him. 10 points, 7 assists, or 7 rebounds, 9 assists, 4 for 14 from the field, 0 for 4 from the 3 point land. He's gonna have to play better. You know, they needed more offense. The Bucks needed more offense tonight to compete with the Suns, and they simply couldn't do that. Brooke Lopez hit some nice threes. He had 17 points, and, uh,. Yeah, the Suns were abusing him defensively, and that pick and roll, Brooke Lopez had no answer for Chris Middleton. Obviously, he played well tonight, 29 points. Giannis, 20 and 17. You know, hopefully, he gets a little better so he can put up, you know, more 30 ish points. PJ Tucker, 7 points. Other than that, Bobby Portis didn't have a 20 point game like he did in game 6 of that Atlanta Hawks series. Uh, Pat Connaughton didn't really do much. Forbes, nothing. Not even, you know, Jeff Teagues didn't play that well tonight. So. Yeah, that's the story of the night. Chris Paul and that DeAndre Ayton, um, their alley-oops and their, you know, special chemistry that is forming in the pick and roll and the third quarter separation that was created by mainly CP3, but don't forget Devin Poker with his 27 points, but let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this game. It was entertaining, man. It was entertaining. There wasn't really a dead point. Overall, this NBA Finals is going to be one for the ages, and I'm finally happy. It's new faces, you know. I really want to see Chris Paul win. There's no LeBron. Uh, so yeah, just let me know in the comments section. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and with all that being said, I'm out. Peace.